Hey there, welcome to our video on 10 things that you didn't know about Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Known as the city of five seasons, Cedar Rapids has a rich history and a culture that many people may not be aware of. From famous residents to unique events, we've got you covered with some interesting and surprising tidbits about this Iowa gem. My name is Tony Lucan and my wife Anna is my business partner. We get calls, texts all the time. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in 10 days or 100 days, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or email. This is all in the description below. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Now let's get to the list of 10 fascinating facts about Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Number one, the Cedar Rapids Masonic Library and Temple. Located at 813 First Avenue Southeast, was completed in 1928 and designed by Proudfoot, Bird, and Rawson. The building is built in the classical revival style and contains one of the largest collections of Masonic books and artifacts in the Midwest. The temple serves as a meeting place for various Masonic lodges and chapters and is also available for community events and private function. Recognized as an important example of Masonic architecture, Cedar Rapids Masonic Library and Temple is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, a significant landmark in Cedar Rapids. Fun fact is the library is the first and oldest Masonic library in the entire world. Number two, the Cedar Rapids Public Library is the busiest library in Iowa and was awarded the National Medal for Museum and Library Service in 2017. The library has over 400,000 items in its collection, including books, magazines, DVDs, and digital resources. It also offers a wide range of programs and services such as literacy and education classes, technology access, and community events. Number three, the city has a strong connection to the Quaker faith. With the first Friends Church in Iowa established in Cedar Rapids 1852, the Quaker community played a significant role in the development of the city, with many early settlers being Quakers who were attracted to the area's natural beauty and fertile land. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about the great state of Iowa and more specifically living in Cedar Rapids, Iowa and surrounding areas, make sure you subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Cedar Rapids. Number four, Cedar Rapids was the first city in Iowa to implement a curbside recycling program in 1972. The program was a response to growing concerns about pollution and waste. It has been as successful in diverting thousands of tons of recyclable materials from landfills each year. Number five, the Cedar Rapids Colonels minor league baseball team is named after the city's long-standing connection to the corn processing industry. The team was originally called the Cedar Rapids Bunnies in honor of the city's famous rabbit racing industry but the name was changed to the Cedar Rapids Colonels in 1993 to reflect the city status as a major corn processing center. Number six, the city has a rich history of Czech and Slovak immigration and the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library is one of the most extensive collections of artifacts related to Czech and Slovak culture outside of Europe. The museum features exhibits on topics such as folk art, music, and history as well as offering language classes and cultural events. So if you're planning on moving to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, make sure to check out my latest video on watch this before moving to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. From cost of living to what inspections you need to buy a home here, you'll get a sneak peek into what makes Cedar Rapids such a special place to live. So before you make the move, be sure to watch this video to discover some of the insider secrets on what you need to know before moving. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Number seven, Cedar Rapids is home to the Bruce Moore Mansion, a historic estate built in 1884 that is now a museum and cultural center. The mansion has been preserved to reflect the lifestyle of the wealthy families who live there, and it offers tours and events throughout the year. Number eight, the city is located around the Cedar River and upstream of the confluence of the Cedar River and Iowa River, making it a popular destination for water sports enthusiasts. The rivers offer opportunities for fishing, kayaking, and boating, as well as the scenic hiking and biking trails along their banks. Number nine, Anamosa, Iowa, which is a small town close to Cedar Rapids, was the birthplace of the famous American painter, Grant Wood. Known for his iconic work, 
American Gothic. Wood was raised in Cedar Rapids and his childhood home is now a museum dedicated to his life in art. Number 10. The city is known for its annual Freedom Festival, which celebrates American independence, includes events like a carnival, live music, and a parade. The festival has been Cedar Rapids tradition since 1984 and attracts thousands of visitors each year. And that's it for our video on 10 little known facts about Cedar Rapids. We hope you enjoyed learning about the city's rich history, unique landmarks, and cultural significance. If you've ever been to Cedar Rapids or have some fun facts to share, be sure to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video, guys.